What a little gem. What's happening, fellas? Check out this little dime piece here. This is an extremely rare Honda SL70. Extremely rare because most of the time, these were owned by young people who rode the freaking wheels off of them and destroyed them. This is from the Bino Roadie Collection out of the Atlanta area. And uh, this, I knew why after we got the bike, why he tried to do what he did. But after we had a deal on a whole tractor trailer load of motorcycles, he um, decided that he would pull this one off the deal. He's like, I don't want to let the SL70 go. I want to keep it as a pit bike. I want to, and this was like, in my opinion, of the collection of bikes we bought, which included BSAs and Triumphs and all of his bikes that we bought needed a lot of work. They were in original paint, whatever. This was an original paint diamond and it was part of the original deal and he tried to pluck it out and I was like, well, forget it. That's not going to happen. This one's coming with us. And uh, this is an original Aquarius blue SL70, original paint, original tank, original fenders, um, all original Survivor with very low miles on it that has been uh, mechanically massaged to perfection and cleaned up real nice by the techs here at the New England Motorcycle Museum. I have the work order. I should probably grab it so I don't misquote. So on the cosmetic side, it was hot water steam cleaned, degreased. They painted the frame. They painted the swing arm, the triple clamps, the kickstand. They took the wheels right off the bike, put them in the vapor blasting tank and vapor blasted the hubs, polished the chrome on the wheels and all the, all the chrome on the bike, the handlebars. The uh, hand controls were polished. The engine was uh, cleaned and polished and repainted. The tank and side covers were clay barred, then polished and waxed uh, on the tank and side covers. And it has a new gold chain. The sprockets were cleaned. So the whole bike was given what we call a rotisserie detailing. Uh, that was eight hours, a full eight hours in the detail shop. So it's original, but it looks super clean. And they did, they did touch up and paint quite a bit of the items that I mentioned there. The um, mechanic who worked on this, manic mechanic, Jeff Castine, uh, the, the build date on this is July of 1971, so the bike is 50 years old. It's a legit antique classic Honda mini motorsport bike. He went through the bike, uh, had very low engine compression, so he took the engine apart, did a leak down test, and it showed that the intake valve was bad on it. So he, he took the intake, the top end off, inspected and found that the intake valve was pitted and decided to do the intake and exhaust valves and seats. The piston and rings and bore, however, were in perfect original condition, uh, well within spec. So he cut the valve seats, installed the brand new valves, set the valves to spec, deglazed the cylinder bore, uh, installed the new top end with all new gaskets, set the cam timing. The um, engine oil was replaced with new Bellray 10W40 oil, did a complete carb overhaul service, new fuel lines with a new inline fuel filter, new bowl over the fuel line. Uh, Let's see, new Peacock assembly, fuel Peacock assembly. Soda blasted the inside of the gas tank, which is the best way to clean it. It's not a coated tank, it was a clean tank. The, uh, so the whole fuel system, gas tank, fuel Peacock, fuel lines, carburetor, the air filter, the entire intake system and the head and valves were uh, re cleaned, replaced, you know, refurbished. Um, new head gasket, new base gasket, whole top end's been redone, new overflow lines, uh, new fuel lines just well done and it runs like brand new so he then he went on and serviced the uh, um, lumen adjusted all the cables put new braking clutch levers on it set the ignition points and timing put a, a gallon of vp non-ethanol fuel in it uh, has brand new foot peg rubbers as you can see a new kickstart rubber as you can see a new gold drive chain and brand new front and rear tires on the original soda blasted wheels new rim bands and tubes and of course that new chrome um, air filter, clamp on air filter. So just a beautiful piece. 12 hours in the service department, going through the motor and everything else. Eight hours in the detail shop, total of 20 hours labor plus parts. The service ticket came to $2,276. These are extremely rare. Um, a full frame off restoration starts at about five grand for one of these. This didn't need a frame off restoration because it was a good original paint survivor. July of 1971 date code SL70, serial number 1045005. Kick ass machine, absolutely highly collectible. It's rolling right into the New England Motorcycle Museum where it'll be on display until it gets to its new home. Junior, would you like to add a couple things? Yeah. Uh, guys, parts are readily available. This engine. Uh, configuration was made for for forever since the beginning of time since the stone age on the last sl70 we had didn't have side covers so in my findings 
uh, for an OEM set that needed to be painted. They were asking $495 for them. Although mechanically, all the parts are readily available. There's some pieces that are pretty much complete on obtaining, like these side panels here. And to find a, a, a serviceable tank, I'm sure they're fetching big money for those as well. I'm just taking the license plate off of it. Uh, I just got done taking it for a nice ride. This is a street legal motorcycle. The headlight works. It can be registered. Um, Kick-ass little around town pit bike or something for down at your campground or at the beach. These were completely over-engineered by Honda. These motors have been copied a billion times by the Chinese and everybody else. They're absolutely bulletproof. And they make phenomenal pit bikes. Companies like Powerall and Webco and um, DG produced, uh, Powerall has a 110cc kit that'll about double the horsepower, stock at 6.4 horsepower. I wouldn't mess with it. This motor's basically brand new. Uh, the valves have been redone and the piston and rings are in perfect, like new condition. So buy with assurance, the manic mechanic lavished this with love, spent a day and a half on it and uh, a full day in the service department. All the heavy lifting's been done, man. Just uh, hop on and go. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454. 7024. Thanks for watching and God bless America. I want to disclose a few things real quick. Original paint's beautiful. Some uh, imperfections up top here, as you would expect from an original paint uh, beauty like this one. Uh, the fork tubes have a little bit of pitting. Um, better photos of this in the, in the gallery. It's not a perfect bike, but it's unrestored and original impossible to find like this. Check it out. Original kickstand. Kicker. Four speed trading, one down, three up. Thanks for watching, guys.